Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm making a Division Bell. This one is a riff on the last word, which is an equal part cocktail. I'm sure many of you know it, but in case you don't, it's comprised of gin, green chartreuse, herbal liqueur, maraschino, and lime juice. So there's some similarities in this one, but instead of using gin, it's subbed for mezcal. And instead of using a herbal liqueur, it's subbed for a bittersweet Italian liqueur being Aperol. Uh, an aperitivo. This was created by Phil Ward back in 2009. Uh, it also has some similarities to a Naked and Famous, but actually predates that by a couple of years. So he, he created this one for a mezcal bar that was opening in 2009. Uh, it was part of their opening menu in the East Village in New York. And it was named after an album, a Pink Floyd album. This one's been around for a while, uh, a bit of a modern classic, but I haven't made it myself. And I've seen it in my Facebook group and I've seen quite a few people sharing it of late. So, I wanted to give it a crack. So the last word is an equal part cocktail. This one varies a little bit with the uh, the proportions. So we're gonna start off with our mezcal and measure out one ounce. So I'm using Illegal, uh, which is an Espartin mezcal, one ounce, 30 mil, and shaking cocktail, so straight into the tin. Then we have Aperol. As I said, bittersweet liqueur. Whoa, haven't used this for a little bit. Uh, three quarter ounce, 22.5 mil. Into the shaker it goes. And maraschino liqueur. It's only taken me several years to learn how to pronounce it correctly. A half an ounce, 15 mil. And last ingredient, lime juice. Three quarter ounce, 22.5. Straight into the tin, add plenty of ice, and give it a shake. And I'm straining this one into a chilled Nick and Nora glass. Double straining, keeping out those little ice shards. And this one looks pretty much identical to a paper plane. Or should I say a naked and famous, sorry. And this one's garnished with grapefruit oils expressed over the top. So I'm just cutting off a coin and then expressing the coin and discarding. The grapefruit is a wise choice, uh, given those kind of citrusy grapefruit notes of the Aperol. It should add nice aromatics to the drink as well. They have a division bell. Cheers. Got a nice mezcal, subtle, smoky nose to it. And bright grapefruit aromatics. Ooh, that is, I really like that. That's good. Uh, it's like the mezcal is a hero, but it's really well balanced. I was worried that that amount of maraschino was going to, it, it, it works, works really well. This is a fantastic drink. I'm definitely going to have to do a comparison between this and the Naked and Famous. Probably the Paper Plane as well, throw that in the mix. Uh, but this is a great drink. If you haven't tried it, make sure you do. If you've tried it before, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.